Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Unlimited. I'm Jonathan, and today's video I'm really excited to do the unboxing of the TP-Link AC1200 Archer C6 router. So previously I was using a router which was a single band Wi-Fi router, and the speed was not uh, that good, and the range also was pretty limited. So I'm really excited to unbox this new TP-Link router. So let's see what's there inside the box. And before I do the unboxing, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to press the subscribe button below to get regular notification about all the videos which we post. Let's start with the unboxing. So we are removing the outer cover. So I'm just removing the outer cover. Let's see what's mentioned on the box. So on the box it mentioned it has a dual band uh, Wi-Fi. The 5 gigahertz frequency, the speed is going to be 867 Mbps. Whereas the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, the speed is going to be up to a maximum of 300 Mbps. So it has a fast Wi-Fi with MU, MI, MO technology. So using this uh, Mu Mimo, we'll be able to connect to several devices without losing the speed and it has full gigabyte port so let's see what's behind the box all right so it clearly mentions that it's 10 times faster connectivity because it has a gigabyte uh, gigabyte LAN port and gigabyte WAN port so let's see what's inside the box now Alright, so we have the Wi-Fi router itself. Wow, looks really awesome. Looks high tech. Alright, it has four antennas. One, two, three, and four. Wow, so using these four antennas, you should be getting really good Wi-Fi range. Alright, so let's keep this aside and see what comes in the box. So it comes with a RJ45 cable for connecting your modem to your router. All right. A quick installation guide. A public license uh, guide. Last but not the least, the power adapter for connecting the router. All right. Let's keep all this aside and see what ports we have on the Wi-Fi router. Right. So on top you can see there's a cool design over here, the glossy pattern. So it'll be easy to wipe away dust but at the same time it's a fingerprint magnet. So if you're going to keep touching your router, it's going to attract a lot of fingerprints but yes, using a cloth you'll be able to wipe it. So it has a really modern design to it. And even on the top there are few LED lights, one in indicating a power light, the other one indicating the 2.4 gigahertz uh, light, the 5 gigahertz light and if there is internet connectivity and there's even a parental lock light over here. So let's see what's behind the box. So underneath the box there's just uh, the label about what uh, power voltage it is. It comes with 12 volt, 1 ampere power rating. All right. So behind the Wi-Fi router, you'll be able to see a gigabyte uh, WAN port, which is the wide area network port, and four LAN ports, which is again a gigabyte port. So using this, you'll be able to transfer internet with a speed of up to one gigabytes per hour. So all the four LAN ports are gigabytes. And over here, right. So over here, you'll be able to see the WPS or Wi-Fi on or off button. Next to that is a reset button. So using a small pin or a clip, you'll be able to reset your Wi-Fi router. That's a power on and off button. And obviously the power adapter input port. 
right just to point out all these four antennas are inbuilt so you won't be able to unscrew them or add any other different kind of antennas to it but since uh, since it comes with a ethernet port which is a gigabyte ethernet port and lan port you'll be able to get really high speed if you are having a internet connection which is more than 100 mbps you you'll be able to get the full out of your internet connection using this router it's especially useful for heavy users who are using a lot of bandwidth for downloading and uploading data so this router comes with a app using which you'll be able to easily set up your wifi router so the QR code for the app is provided on the box. You will be able to scan it and download it on Play Store or you can just simply type in the application name and you will be able to download it. I will be showing you how to set up your Wi-Fi router using the TP-Link Tether app. So just click on the Tether app on your smartphone. Once you enter your Tether app, you need to sign up first. So I am going to do that. Once you set in your email address and password, click on sign up. So once you click on sign up, an email will be sent to your personal email which you have entered before. So you need to follow instruction in the email to activate the TP link ID within one hour. So I'm just doing that. Right, you need to click on the Tata app. Once you have clicked on the Tether app, you will be able to see your Wi-Fi router over here, which is the Archer C6. Click on that. So once you click on that, uh, you will be able to set up your wireless network over there. I have already set up my wireless network both for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz frequency. You can set individual password for both the frequency band, 2.4 and the 5 GHz. You can use separate passwords as well. And over here, you'll be able to see like how many devices are connected to your Wi-Fi router as well. So at the moment, I have connected five devices. So once you click on that, you'll be able to see which devices are connected to the 2.4 gigahertz frequency and how many devices are connected to 5 gigahertz frequency. So in case if someone else is logging in, you'll always be able to monitor that. Using this app, you'll be able to do a number of things. You'll be able to set up even parental control. So just click on tools. Once you click on tools, there will be an option called parental control. So over here, you'll be able to create a profile. So for instance, if you want a profile for one of your kid, you can type in the name over here. Click on next. And once you click on the plus symbol over here, tap to block websites. You will be able to block whichever websites you don't want your kids to see. So this is a pretty handy feature. You can do all this right from your smartphone. You don't have to use your computer, get into your router settings and do it. You can do it on your smartphone itself. You'll also be able to run network diagnostics by clicking on the network diagnostics option over here and then click on diagnose. So basically this will be checking the connection with your router and it will also check the internet connection if it's available or not. So now it shows that great your network is online. So that's perfect. So that's pretty much it. So I completed setting up my Wi-Fi connection using the TP-Link Tether app. It hardly took me 10 to 20 minutes. The user interface was completely friendly and I was able to set it up really quick without any hassle. The TP-Link Tether app has a lot of features and it's very easy to access on your smartphone. I also tested the internet speed and the range of my Wi-Fi router. It was pretty good. My previous uh, router had bottlenecked the speed and I was not getting the speed which I was paying for. So now using this Archer C6, I'm getting really high speed and even the range is pretty good. I tested the range by going to the second floor of my house and I'm getting a pretty good range even on the second floor. If you're a person who uses high speed internet connection, maybe more than 100 Mbps, TP-Link Archer C6 is a good choice for you. I'll be leaving the purchase link for this uh, Wi-Fi router in the description below. You can always click on that and uh, have a look at the product and even buy it if you want. If you like this video, press the like button and if you found it really informative, please share it with your friends. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to press the subscribe button below and also press the bell icon to get regular notification about all the videos we post. Until next time, it's me Jonathan signing off. Cheers.